G'day YouTube. This is a quick overview of the uh, relatively new Linux distro called Magia 2. Now uh, it's got a lot of cool features in it and it's a very popular distribution so I'll get into it now. Now of course as you can see it's got its own branded uh, version of KDE uh, as it's our desktop interface. So it is the, um, the, the fairly polished desktop interface and um, with that, uh, you can still uh, go with the regular GNOME varieties and XFCE, LXDE, all of those, but this is the de the default desktop uh, interface for Magia, so that's always uh, good to note. Now, uh, the kernel is currently at 3.3, but I always like to check that, so I'll just quickly check that now. And, okay, there we go, so it's 3.3.8, so pretty much 3.3 for the kernel which is uh, good to see. Uh, it's not quite 3.5, 3.6 what we're up to right now, but it's certainly not uh, in the 2s or 3.0. Okay, now also uh, with this release we have the Office Utility LibreOffice currently at 3.5.5, so quite up to date there. Now this distribution also comes in 32 and 64 bit architectures which is really good to see. It's very stable too, I found this to be quite a stable release as well which I enjoy. Um, also now we have uh, the package file format for installations is RPM and the package management tool or should I say the update method is called UPRMI which is a little bit unusual, a little bit different, UPRMI when you're um, installing something. It's really just a package management tool for installing, deleting, um, updating, removing, um, or querying packages on the system. Uh, it looks a little bit like this, just as I've said it, but you can't use it unless you're a super user, so you'll have to be logged in as root to use that tool. And uh, let's see, uh, last but not least, I guess I'll talk about the uh, the popularity. For some reason, uh, Meiji has just seemingly come out of nowhere and uh, has become officially the, uh, the second most popular distribution. And uh, it's overtaken Ubuntu, actually, and which is really quite interesting to see. And uh, I'm not sh quite sure the reasons for this, especially being a KDE release, but... Um, with this one, I'm going to say it's uh, it's actually, well the history of this one is of course from Mandriva. Then Mandriva went uh, sort of bust, went bust financially and as a result um, a lot of the developers from uh, Mandriva moved over to Magia uh, for both for financial reasons but also because of um, uh, the politics behind how Mandriva was uh, sort of orchestrating the entirety of their network or their distribution. So uh, it's become a community-based release, Magia 2, and uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of people loving it these days. I, I, th I could possibly see myself down the road uh, having it as my main distro uh, long term. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's just a quick overview or review of the uh, Magia 2 uh, Linux distro that's out.